And as the crisis continues, the Federal Emergency Management Agency is planning to set up multiple field hospitals in New Jersey. One of the sites is the Atlantic City Convention Center. Alicia Reed joins us from there, and she was able to get a look at what the current space looks like. Alicia. That's right, Yuki. Governor Murphy says additional capacity is needed for the potential increase of coronavirus victims, and they're making sure the state have enough space to accommodate them all. It's eerily quiet inside the convention center's main hall, but not for long. As the coronavirus pandemic continues, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy identified it as one of three locations where an additional beds will be added. We will fight to save every single life. There are just over 18,400 acute care beds available in the state, and 2,000 of those are for critical care. Murphy says the additional beds will need to be ready rather quickly in order to aid residents who may need it. Everyone is indispensable. We will fight to save every single life. We will leave nothing on the battlefield in that effort. There is no cost that is too high to save any one precious life. Let's all remember that we are America. We're the country that never leaves the fallen soldier injured or killed on the battlefield. CBS3 was the only camera inside this facility today as the site prepares for what's to come in the next couple of days. Atlantic City Mayor Marty Small Sr. says his town is ready. That goes to show the type of facilities that we have here in the city of Atlantic City that we can uh, you know, have things no matter if it's an emergency or not. We have the facilities here in town. State officials are working with FEMA to get these sites up and running as soon as possible. Reporting live from Atlantic City, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you. And